Hello everyone, this is the MGTOW Cowboy. Greetings and salutations. So I want to make a quick rant for you guys tonight. Oh, I want to talk to you about some of my, uh, some of my experiences. Um, basically, uh, f- almost coming upon uh, finishing up my first week in trucking. So, um, yeah, I, uh, started, started, what, four days ago, five days ago? I think five days ago now. Four days ago? I don't know. I started in Chicago, and then I, uh, and then I drove from Chicago to Mishawaka, Indiana, picked up a load, and then from Mishawaka, Indiana, I drove to New Chicago, Michigan, and then from New Chicago, Michigan, I drove to Benton, Benton Harbor, Michigan, and then from Benton Harbor, Michigan, I drove to um, Louisville, Kentucky, and then from Louisville, Kentucky, I drove to uh, Morgansville, Mor- Morgan, Morganstown, Morganstown, Kentucky. Yeah, yeah. Oh man, let me tell you about that. Morgan, Morganstown, Morgans, Morganstown, Mor, Morgan, Morganstown. Some fucking, some fucking hillbilly, some little heck town. Good people, good people, salt of the earth people. But that's not really what I wanted to mention. I wanted to mention the the terrain. Oh my god, it was like a, it was like a forty minute roller coaster, like. I'm on this like country road. Uh, I think the 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 speed limit was like 55. I was not going 55. I was going like 35. I was going like 40. And it it felt like whoa, it felt it it was far out. It was real far out. It was like it was like being on a 40 minute roller coaster ride. It's like really really hilly and and you got these winding roads and it's just like I don't know, it's gut-wrenching. I gotta be honest, it's gut wrenching, um, and it's also yeah, it got gut wrenching. It's scary, like you know, it, when when you're kind of on a straightaway and you're going up a hill, it's kind of cool. It's like yeah, no problem. But even when you hit, when you're nearing the top of the hill, you know, you, you kind of get scared because you don't you don't necessarily know if there's someone right on the other side of the hill coming up just as you are. You know, it, it, that'd be a perfect. You know, there could be a crash right there, and. Um, so, so when I get towards the top of the hill, I sort of, I sort of veer to the right a little bit. I sort of veer to, um, away from the center of the lane or, you know, the, the, the center of, of the two lanes. I veer towards the, uh, the edge of the road, you know? Um, yeah, I'm sorry. So yeah, uh, and then I'm from, from Morgan's to Morgan'stown, Morgan'sville, Morgan'stown. From Morgan'stown, Kentucky, I drove all the way to Goose Goose Creek, South Carolina, and that's where I am now. I'm I'm in I'm in South Carolina at like a truck stop, and I've just been learning the ropes. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I I like it and I don't like it. So I mean I I. I it's wonderful. There's cer- there's certain parts of this job I like that, that are wonderful. Um, I like to drive, so you know, yeah. If you guys like to drive, man, look in the trucking. Um, I like to drive, so I kind of like that part. Um, but what I've been struggling with, and so that's, I, I will sort of transition now and sort of you know start the complaint. Uh, I've been struggling with uh, something called the uh, the ELD. The ELD. ELD stands for uh, Electronic Logging Device. And ELD is... Uh, okay, so I got... I got my CDL... I got my CDL back in 2017. Okay? And um, when I went to trucking school, they taught us how to... that We were using like these little like... R- we were using rulers and pencils... Um, we, we, they're, they're, they, they were called paper logs. I was taught how to make paper logs and we, we do, they, we don't do that anymore. You have to carry, I think 
I think you have to carry like extra paper logs in your truck just in case your ELD breaks or something. But other than that, you know, I haven't used them at all. Basically, when I went to trucking school back in 2017, these uh, ELDs had not yet been implemented. But I think like a year later in 2018, uh, they, they, they phased them in or they brought them in. So, you know, it's been a couple years since I had trucking school. And then on top of that, you know, there's this new technology that I'm totally, totally ignorant of. So for the last four days, I've been giving myself a crash course on how to use it. And, um, yeah, yeah. So that's what I'm going to complain about for the next like three or four minutes. So you got this ELD and I don't know how to use it. And, ah, oh, just tonight I ran into another trucker at a trucking stop and he was, he was very helpful teaching me how to use it. All this stuff, all this stuff, man. It's just, uh, I guess I'm just upset because I mean, I'm happy. I'm, I'm happy and I'm unhappy. I'm, ha I'm happy. I'm happy that this company, they gave me and uh, they gave me an, an opportunity. They gave me a chance to work for them. I'm working for them. I'm making money. All that's well and good. But I have to admit, I'm a little pissy. I'm a little upset because I, I really do feel that they didn't really give me um, sufficient training. In fact, for that matter, I, I would I would call the level of training that they gave me abysmal. I was hoping that they would send me out with a driver trainer at least for a week. All these all these mega carriers, all these big companies uh, like, uh, you know, Swift. Um, Swift, Werner, w Werner, Schneider, Black Horse, Maverick, CR England, all these real, real big companies, they, they send you out with an actual person for like a month. For, for one month, you have hands-on training from this other guy who teaches you everything. They didn't do that. They literally just handed me a set of keys. And... Um, we're just like, yeah, good luck. And here's an ELD. And just, and, and this is how, oh, okay. And, and, and DC, and DC is how it works. And here, here's, here's another problem. And I'm, I'm, you know, th this has to be mentioned. Um, okay. The people I work for, they're, they're Eastern Europeans. Okay. I think they're Ukrainians. Uh, very, very nice people. Uh, I think, I think Ukrainian women are very beautiful, by the way. In fact, side note, side note, side note to the MGTOW community, if, if you want to go, if I were to ever have a child, maybe through surrogacy, I think one of the places on top of my list would be uh, uh, the Ukraine. Um, yeah, and uh, apparently uh, it's like, I think it's like the, not the first, I think, I think the United States is first, but I think U Ukraine is like the second most popular place people go to for surrogacy, I think, I'm not sure. But yeah, no, I, I researched that. It's, it's one of the more popular ones. Anyway, anyway, getting back to the topic at hand. Oh my God, they, they there's a language barrier. There, there is a language barrier. I don't understand them. Um, you know, like I'm trying to like I'm trying to learn. They're trying to teach me how to use this ELD, and they're just like, eh, eh, the button you you press you press the button the button you press. It's like, wait, wait, what? On duty, off duty, br sleeper, what? Profile, what, what, what? And they're just... <sighs> I mean, I'll figure it out regardless, but I have to say there's a language barrier. This is probably a localized problem, right? In Chicago, you have all these ethnic groups. You know, most of the country, you probably just have like good old boys or, you know, just, you know, English speaking people. So it's not a problem, but they didn't give me a lot of, uh, they didn't give me a lot of training. And, um, so I've been learning it on my own and, and the problem is you gotta be real careful because, um, you know, there, there are potential, I, I can get, I could lose money. I could lose big, big money. Uh, if I were to get pulled over and my paperwork is not in order, or I shouldn't say paperwork. It's, it's, it's electronic paperwork or whatever. It's an ELD electronic logging device. If my paperwork or my, my, I'll just call it my electronic paperwork. If my electronic paperwork is not in order, that's a violation. That's a violation. Uh, I, you know, if it happens over and over and over and over, you know, I could lose my license. I, I'm pretty sure I get a ticket. All these problems arise. And, you know, I don't know. I don't know. That, that, that's all I'm really upset about right now is, you know, I don't know.
they should have trained me better. And, um, you know, if you join one of these mega carriers, they send you out with the trainer for like a month. They just handed me the keys, man. They just handed me the keys and just said, you know, go get, go get, (laughs) go, go get that money, Joe. I don't know. I don't know, guys. I'm sorry. I'm ranting at this point. But, um, yeah, if you guys like to drive, man, trucking, trucking is, is a fun job. Uh, it could be a little dangerous, you know, when you're hugging those curves and, you know, but you deal with it as best as you can. And, um, yeah, man, make sure you, make sure you get, you keep your paperwork. You, make sure you, make sure you know, you, you know what you're doing when it comes to the paperwork because, uh, yeah, uh, oh, that can come and bite you in the ass. Anyway, I'll, uh, I'll leave it at that for now. Uh, guys, uh, please excuse the rant. Um, and I hope all of you are doing well. Uh, I haven't really made much content in the last week, but you guys know why, because I'm working 14 hour days now. So anyway, I hope you're all well. And, uh, I guess, yeah, I just wanted to check in. So I'll leave it at that. Uh, everyone, this is the MGTOW Cowboy. Uh, if you like my content, please like, please comment, please subscribe, and please, please share. And I'll leave it there. All right, take care.